What's up, Corky? It's Down Them Chan here, and I'm here with Stage Two. So I'm I'm kind of conflicted. I bought tickets to see BTS like back in December of 2016. Everything's going great, you know. I had to fight for my my spot, my P1s, but got them. Booked the hotel. Figured out how me and my friend are getting there. Everything's great. It's great. Here we are in February, and BAP, my, I think, ultimate bias group, has decided to announce a concert. Well, not even BAP. TS Entertainment, Powerhouse, they've decided to announce that BAP is coming to America again. <laughs> I got to go see BAP last year um, when they had their, you know, US attack, you know, all of that going on. Um, I got to see them and it was amazing, like, I experienced the concert from a pretty close distance and it was just, oh my gosh, I got to see Jung Up perform his solo Chikun, which is now, oh my gosh, the, at the time I think Carnival was a new album for them, um, but it was so amazing and they had this thing where if you buy their CDs, on the back of the CDs they'll have like a, a high touch opportunity. Because I'm a fangirl, I bought two. I got a high touch and I was so nervous because BAP has been that K-pop group for me that has dragged me through, you know, my depression and, and things like that. They kind of helped me, you know, to become better and to keep going. Um, so to have a high touch with them was amazing. So after the concert was over, they kind of had all the people who had the high touches um, they put us all in one section. We had to wait for everyone else to leave. Um, there were thousands of people there, but we had to wait for everyone to leave. And then once they left, we would be led into a room. There was like this table and like you walk in and you see all six members like standing there. And I was so afraid. Like the doors opened, everybody starts screaming and it was just like, oh my gosh. I don't know which order they were in, but it was Bang Young-guk, Daehyun, Hyun, chan and Young Jae. All of them were the first four. After those four, I get to my bias in VAP. Um, it's Jung up right at my height and he's really handsome. I'm screaming in my head, I'm standing in front of Jung up and I get to do a high touch. And like he's standing there and I'm scared and I kind of back up a little and he like, just smiles at me and goes like this. And I'm just like, hi. And I'm like, Jung Man comes on me da. Which I had said to all the members as I was walking up the line. It's just like, Jung Man comes on me da. Jung Man comes on me da. Which just means thank you very much. Zello was at the end. He saw me like freak out in front of Jung up. And he was just like, ah, ah. And points to his hand. I was just like, Zello, stop. And I got through the line. It was amazing. Oh my gosh. Really, really fun experience. Experiencing a high touch and then not being able to go to see, you know, the K-pop idol that you got the high touch with. For me, it's very weird. Like, I feel like I have like a, I know I don't know them personally, but I feel like I have like a, a better connection with them. I really want to go see VAP, but the only way I can do that is if I sell my ticket to BTS. And I love both groups too much to do that to either. I don't, I don't know. Anywho, let's keep up with K-pop. In today's news, <laughs> BAP related of course, TS released a teaser photo. It's a photo made of public pieces. Okay, so in the teaser image, you know, you see there's a painting with what looks like a woman in the painting. And behind the painting, like, you know how it like hangs up, there's like blood like tripping from behind it. There's a lamp and then there's a calendar as well. And then at the very, very bottom of it, you see like what looks like a body, like underneath like this sheet. And one of the puzzle pieces that was on the body is off, it's like it's not there. And then you see the puzzle piece kind of pushed to the side and it's a rose on it. Um, so a lot of people are coming up with a lot of fan theories right now because they're just like, wait, what the heck does this mean? But their comeback, like they're set to do a comeback March 7th of 2017. I'm really sad because they're going to be doing it at the concert, but I don't want to miss BTS. Ah, I don't know. The life of a fangirl is so hard. But enough about that. On with the stages. Today's question is... Today's question is, 
Which BTS member spends most of his time during this music video looking out of a window? Need a clip? This member just graduated. Congratulations, by the way. Don't forget, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you just want to know, feel free to go down to the description box and follow the link there. It says submission link. Um, there you can leave me essentially whatever you want to say. Make sure to follow that link and make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Sage 3. Annyeong. Bye. Thanks for your support. I'm not